Welcome to another Lumion Advanced tutorial. This time, I'm going to be covering a little known feature in Lumion that allows us to import height maps and make terrains instantly for our scenes using the help of NASA, USGS, and an image editor like Photoshop. Now this tool works by reading specific grayscale images meant to represent heights that Lumion produces. And this is the online tool we will be using, and I provide a link to it in the description. So like I mentioned before, with the help of NASA, we can use this tool to read the terrain from anywhere in the world. This is how their maps look by default, but on the side here we have more viewing options. So with this tool here, we can select the area we want, and note that this is as far as I can zoom in. Once we have our selection, here is where we can download it, but first it will require us to log in and make a free account. Once logged in, we can click download, and here we need to select the third option down which works the best, check JPEG, and then submit. As you can see, it's given us a black and white image, which is all we need to import into Lumion. But first, I'll explain height maps in general a little more in depth. So here I have it open in an image editing program, Photoshop. And first off, let's draw attention to the fact that the resolution we get isn't super high and understand that each pixel will represent a certain height in Lumion. So using the eyedropper tool, pay attention to the black and white values on the color table in the upper right. White is high and black is low. And now I'll show you how using levels we can manipulate the total range of black and white here to tone a terrain down if needed. Okay, let's head into Lumion. Now if you've ever noticed, the import terrain option is located here, along with the save terrain option. So I've just imported the very same map we downloaded, and here's our result. And if you're not seeing it all, hit F7 to reveal all terrain. And with that, we have a fully editable terrain created instantly with Lumion. We can also quickly give our terrain a couple different looks by switching different presets here. Now back to our original downloaded height map, I want to demonstrate how we can tailor the terrain as a whole to our needs back in Photoshop. Back to the levels tool, let's adjust the image and decrease the black range. Notice how much of the image is now solid black. Now let's see the effect on our import. So the lack of black in the lower range is apparent. Notice how the pure black is set at elevation 0. Now, Lumion, besides being super powerful, is also a lot of fun. Now let's experiment a little bit, and I invite you to do so with whatever editor you have as well. So I've quickly written something with pure white 255 and some random lines in pure black 0, and we'll re-import to see the damage that I've caused. Notice that the white letters have made a perfect plateau and the black a perfect flat valley. Understanding this, we should be careful in case our terrain map we grab has too much white for the tips of the mountains because the tops might end up flat instead of pointy. So on to some more fun, I'll experiment with gradually darker progressing rings and some black lines on the outside for contrast. Interesting. Notice the perfectly straight walls and man that's a, that's a deep canyon there. So now I need to reveal that these imported maps will always take up the same 2km by 2km square in Lumion. And now by creating this image with pure white and pure black, I want to measure how tall Lumion translates pure white. I've made a special ruler in SketchUp for this. So here a perfect lift looks like about 650 feet. Okay, so one last crazy experiment here. Six hundred and fifty feet for white will always be the case every time, just so you know. And black will always be zero. So that brings us to another realization. If we're worried about actual real world size here, we need to go back and try to grabbing a square that will scale perfectly to our 2 km by 2 km square. Notice the scale at the bottom left. I'll try for 2 km by 2 km and wow, we didn't get much, but importing this, we have accurate scale and a Minecraft world. So I feel that importing these terrains, they really don't have to be one to one perfect scale to be useful at all. So now I'm going to go ahead and just showcase a couple of the areas I've grabbed from the same website and reveal their location. And remember we can add ocean, toggle on and off rocky cliffs, and that last one was a little extreme we can fix that now. And this is one I really liked from Spain and I wanted to go ahead and make a beautiful animation with it. Just added a couple effects and a lot of trees. But remember that that terrain was created instantly. So I hope I was able to demonstrate how fun importing and manipulating these USGS type maps can be. Hope this adds a great advantage to your animation potential, and until next time.